Okay, so we need to, our, our job today is to understand the features of Creative Valley in order to make a decision about an appropriate location for future residential development. Appropriate location. The Valley task. Step two, because I would like you to draft your responses in your exercise book. If you flick over the page um, after your map, you'll notice that the lines that have been um, provided to you for each of these questions, there's not a huge amount of space there. there. So we're going to discuss each of those questions. Um, and I think it's worth your while to draft in your exercise book first, um, so that you're making sure that your responses are concise to what you want to say. So don't forget that the questions that we're answering today are going to help us make an informed decision about our housing development. So I just wanted to show you this quick um, animation to get us thinking. It's a little video of SimCity, please enjoy. You don't have to worry too much about infrastructure like the sewerage or um, electricity or water um, in this particular task, but what, what, what were some of the other factors um, examined on this clip that you will need to take into consideration. Okay, yes, commercial areas. What do we mean by commercial areas? Yeah. So any kind of business areas as well. So shops and businesses. What do shops and businesses provide for a community? Sorry? Okay, they provide goods and services. What else? Happiness. Yeah. Okay, goods and services can provide happiness. I'll put a smiley face. What else? Uh, yeah, okay, tourists, depending on what it is. Cole? Distribution of wealth. Okay, distribution of wealth, yeah, sure. So we've got, who are the people who work? at these shops and businesses. Okay, so it provides employment. Which, if you are moving into your creative valley, um, you know, it could help improve your quality of life. If you are um, working close by to where you live, that could be a real, a real bonus for you. Um, okay, so commercial areas, shops and businesses have their... So you need to consider where that goes. Yep, thanks Travis. Um, the roads, like if it was a more busy place, you've got like a bigger road. Yeah, and that's something that you'll need to factor in with your decision making about the types of roads that are currently there and the impact that that could have on traffic. Okay, so you need to think um, carefully about that. Last week we talked about how sitting in traffic can be a social factor that can um, lead to stress and take away um, uh, overall happiness from people spending long periods of time sitting in traffic. It means longer time away from uh, friends and, and family and things like that. And there's also fuel costs, maintenance costs on cars. So traffic contributes to a host of other problems, uh, which could be social or economic. To ask the question, what is meant by topography? Can we highlight that word, please? Um, yeah, so Paul, do you uh, Paul, do you have any idea what topography means? No. no. Oh, Anna. Jackie. I do. Hannah. Uh, is it like the study of the Yeah, it does cover the yeah, yeah, it's to do with areas, to do with land. Isn't it the area of the house? Yeah, it's probably, it's a bit more general than that. The topography is just the shape of the landscape. Okay, the shape of the landscape. So we want to we wanna understand whether the land is flat, it's sloping, because that can have an impact on the runoff of water, for instance, that we just talked about before. So the question is, what impacts... What's another word for impact, Jay? Um, What's another word for impact? 
that I could use instead. Damage. Oh, damage. That's a very strong word, isn't it? Does it have to be a negative? Does that impact have damage. to be negative? Effect. Thanks, Colin. Effects. What effects might the lay of the land, so the landscape or the shape, shape of the landscape and vegetation. What's it's another plants. word for vegetation? Plants. Plants. Trees. Trees, all, that, all those things. Food. Is it flora or flora? Flora. Yeah. Have on where you lay, locate your housing estate. So what effect or what impact might the topography or the shape of the land have on where you locate your housing estate? Let's consider the two different types of landscape we've got in our map. We've got gently sloping land and flat land. What impact might those different types of land have on where we locate our housing? So we should add another one too because we've got vegetation. We have to consider our wildlife corridors. Justin. The retaining walls. Yeah. Yep. Retaining walls Excellent. So I'm just going to remember I'm writing notes. You may copy these notes, but you need to formulate a response in full sentences to 